In this slide, let us look at DSL technology. Refer to the figure, a typical DSL network looks like this. What happens at home? The service provider installs an ADSL modem in your home. The ADSL modem inside your house has a splitter. The splitter has two sections, the low pass filter and the high pass filter. The incoming copper wire, which is the existing copper wire, brings home your telephone calls from the PSTN and the broadband from your internet. Very often, both these are managed and provided by the same service provider. As the figure shows, the voice band signals after the low pass filtering land up in your telephones and fax machines. The broadband after high pass filtering goes to your PC or laptop. What happens at the service provider's end? The service provider combines your voice connection and your internet connection and sends both simultaneously through your existing copper wire. The copper wire, as we all know, cannot carry high bandwidths and therefore the service provider uses some sort of a data compression technique such as QAM, PSK, etc. and compresses the data rate considerably so that the bandwidth comes down and the copper can handle this. At the home side, the ADSL modem that is installed does the reverse as we have seen just now. It decompresses the data back to the original rate and feeds it to the PC or laptop. Please note, the voice is not at all disturbed. What is a DSL technology? DSL stands for Digital Subscriber Line and the X in XDSL means there are many flavors or many varieties of DSL. HDSL, ADSL, and so on. DSL and XDSL are generic terms for all types of digital subscriber lines. Digital subscriber lines are just high-speed digital communication lines. Day by day, the demand for higher speeds and higher bandwidths is ever-increasing thanks to the computer and improvements in information sharing technologies. Internet browsing, video transmissions, and downloads, multimedia applications are some of the Examples which consume huge bandwidths. Speed has no speed breakers today. What is XDSL? XDSL is an abbreviation which represents different flavors of digital subscriber line technology. Okay, fine. Why DSL? DSL today is the best technology for high speed communication solutions. We can list out at least three major advantages, price, information handling, and speed. Price. Why? Because of the fact, DSL runs on existing copper lines. Wonderful, isn't it? Unlike fiber optics and other communication lines, no new cables or no new infrastructure, no additional cost, no additional investments for networks. No capital cost at all for transmission. Telephone companies and other service providers can easily adopt their Current services to use DSL, DSL, ADSL, XDSL, they all make the telephone companies very happy because they can provide next generation bandwidth services to the home and business using the existing cabling infrastructure and generate more revenue. In other words, the existing infrastructure is leveraged to bring in more revenues. Next advantage, information handling. In DSL, voice can be simultaneously transmitted along with data. This is also a huge advantage. The data traffic goes through a packet-based data network while voice goes through the PSTN. What's the result? DSL reduces congestions on voice networks. Third advantage is, of course, speed. Perhaps the most relevant feature of DSL is the speed of transmission. DSL is much faster than any analog modem. Today's fastest analog modem is 56 kilobits per second, which is just about the theoretical limit of analog modem technology. However, DSL transmissions can go as high as 8 Mbps today and may be faster in future. 2 megabits per second is very common, which is 35 times faster than the current high-speed analog modem. 
The fourth advantage can be customer is happy because he gets huge download speeds with a very small incremental cost. If a customer wants more bandwidth, popularly known as broadband services, she or he needs a technology which supports these kind of speeds. Typical broadband services could be internet sessions, huge file transfers, and even an online e-learning session such as this, huge video downloads, and so on. On top of it, neither the customer nor the telecom service provider is interested in change of infrastructure. DSL, ADSL satisfies these conflicting requirements very precisely. What is DSL, ADSL? DSL, ADSL is a technology that is used between a customer premises and the telephone company that enables more bandwidth over the existing low bandwidth copper wire. We have seen this very often in this slide itself. What are the standards for DSL technologies? The applicable standards for ADSL standards will be T1.413. This is approved by ITU and ANSI. ITU recommendation G.992.1. Then from ITU G.992.1. From ANSI T1.413.1998. From ADSL working group that is ADSL metallic interface standards. Other standard groups for XDSL could be ETSI, IETF, ADSL MIB work group and ATM forum. What are the applicable standards for HDSL? These are listed below. ANSI T1 E1.4, ITU G991.2, ITU G994.1 and so on.